We're sitting with William Dalrymple, and this is the next installment of Five Minutes Alone. William, thank you for joining us. First question for you this evening, who or what do you read? Well, like most nonfiction writers, I think when I'm in a book, uh, I read exclusively around the subject, and there's a period of a couple of years where I'm, I, except on holiday, I probably don't read anything at all except the book I'm writing. Um, great writers, the writers who I love most, uh, among travel writers, Robert Byron, Bruce Chatwin, Patrick Lee Fermor, among historians, Stephen Runciman, Simon Sharma, among novelists and short story writers, Hemingway, Truman Capote, Tolstoy, Tukhanya, um, Flaubert. In terms of uh, the characters that you've created, the subject matters that you've written about, to which are you most attached? Like uh, I find with child rearing, the most recent one. I find that I, my favorite is always the most recent book and the most recent uh, set of characters. Um, so I suppose my most recent book is Nine Lies, and the characters I'm currently most attached to are um, Kanai Dasbal, who's this wonderful blind um, tantric minstrel who wanders the roads of India, uh, or my, uh, my um, Jane Nunn, who is currently starving herself to death, Prasanna Matamataji. But uh, being a fickle writer, I will soon be embracing with equal enthusiasm Dost Muhammad Khan, the Emir of Afghanistan in 18. 30, which is the book I write at the moment, and his rival, Shal Shuja. What was the best advice you were ever given as a writer? That's an easy question. Um, by Bruce Chatwin, before I'd even written my first book, I remember him telling me, never, ever, and in any piece of work that has to go between hard covers, which you are not completely satisfied with. It's different with journalism. journalism you can stop, shut stuff out, you can churn out reviews, you shouldn't do it that much if you want to be a serious writer, but you can do it. But with uh, a serious literature, which is to be behind hardcovers, which will go into libraries around the world, which will remain with your name on its mind for the rest of your life and, and hopefully for some time after, uh, never publish anything unless you're completely satisfied with it, even if you have to sell your possessions, mortgage your wife, sell your children. Uh, we'll do what you have to do, but make sure you never publish anything that's not as good as it can possibly be. In terms of your writing process, are you someone who flies by the seat of their pants, or are you a strict outliner? I have a process which I suppose is akin to Chinese cookery, which is that I'm a very slow and meticulous researcher and outliner, um, and will uh, spend, I have a cycle of about four years with my books, and so will often spend as much as the first three doing the equivalent to chopping up the veg, um, I will be uh, researching, writing datelines, plans, thinking how to do the introduction and, and the structure and, and, and mulling over. And it comes in fits and starts. It comes during walks and baths and showers and, and, and odd moments when you're relaxed. Suddenly, the it'll, it'll, it'll come together. Walks on beaches, I find, are, the, are the often inspirational light bulb moments. Suddenly, if you're on a beach and going about five miles, you're barefoot nothing, you haven't got your blackberry and when it's you suddenly everything will fall into place towards the end of the process. And in fact, three or four of my books have been effectively born on the same beach in Goa. And you do a long walk, it takes two hours, and by the end it's kind of there, and you write it down before you go. But in terms of writing, uh, I do it, uh, like Chase Cookery again, intensively, and um, I suppose the seat of the pants thing comes in there, because what happens, happens. I clear six months. I don't go out, I don't go to parties, I, um, I certainly don't go to literary festivals or, or, or holidays or anything that distracts. And I really just clear a, a, a block of time and intensively live in the book. And while all the research is done anally and, and, and fixatedly and, and, and slowly, the writing often goes off, although I write non-fiction, I don't write novels, nonetheless the, the writing can easily go off in strange directions if it's working. One final question. Uh, could you share with us one thing about yourself that is not widely known? I was a Catholic choir boy at the age of 12. <laughs> <laughs> <But> don't read. <laughs>
<laughs> anything Irish into that. <laughs> All right, we won't. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to spend with us. <laughs> Send it. <laughs>